Hi guys, it's Jean here. Welcome to my channel. So, gone by the title, this was requested by a viewer. And I do apologise that it's taken me this long to sit down and record this and put this up. I don't know, I've just been so busy doing nothing really, but just haven't had time to sit down and record. I felt like it's been a while since I've actually sat down and record. Uh, but if you follow me, then you'll know I have a, oh my god, a nine month old um, daughter. And if you're new to my channel, then you're probably a first time parent as well and looking up a dozen of this because I sure did. So before having my daughter Isabel, I was at that same stage where I was collating a heap of um, essential lists from YouTube, magazines, blogs, everywhere, and just writing a list of must-haves that I thought was practical for having a baby. So I'm not going to go through a complete list because will be sitting here forever but I will leave a link down below um, to my blog so you can view the list and also a breakdown of the list what I got and what I did end up using but this video will be more not so much an essential but more of I guess going through my favorites and what helped me out the first six months of her life now, I'm not going to use the word must-have because all babies and parents are different and people have been popping out babies since the start of time and you don't really need must-haves. They could just benefit you. So that being said, just to get to know us and our situation, so I had my daughter at 35 weeks and she was in hospital in the special care nursery for about three and a half to four weeks. She's such a good baby. Like, I'm not saying that because I'm biased. She's my daughter, but she is just so placid. Um, she was the best sleeper in the nursery like any I think that was good because anyone could she adapted to the noise she slept really well anyone can kind of hold her um, we I went home first she stayed there for another two weeks after I left and I guess it was good because I kind of felt like I was being handheld um, I didn't go through the normal take her home first I guess baby situation but I learned a few things like having her stay at the nursery which also made a good transition for me um I did take her home and jump straight into the whole mum thing straight away I still kind of just kind of transitioned into motherhood if that makes sense but yeah so she does struggle in the feeding and I think that's why she was in hospital for so long because she was fed through a tube and we had to feed her through a bottle before we could leave the nursery so she's always kind of been on the slower side of feeding I to be honest don't think she she feeds as much however you know as months of like worrying about it I've now accepted that you know she's happy she's not losing weight she you look at her now and you won't even know she was premature because she's so chubby um, and she's healthy and she's happy as for me I would like to say I'm easygoing I'm pretty open to ideas and advice if it sounds logical um, I've worked in IT and customer service so I can handle difficult people and I actually handle like a lot better under pressure as well as for my parenting style like I like to say I try to be basic I'm not really looking to things or have high expectations I'm also you know conscious about spending and you know making sure that I'm getting my money's worth and not overspending on things that I don't really need I also emphasize the word try because baby stuff is so freaking cute but I do kind of think long terms whether I'll get my money's worth Okay, so now that that's out of the way, these are my newborn to six month favorites. Let's go. I'm going to try and categorize this. So I'm going to start off with me. <laughs> Products that helped me rather than her. Um, but there's not, like, like I said, I'm going to emphasize that these are my favorites. So again, I'm going to put a link below with the full breakdown list of everything. Um, which, like, you know, if you're wondering why these are so random, because these are things that st stood out for me for the first six months of pregnancy. So the first one is a maternity belt. So I purchased this when I was obviously pregnant with her. Um, it just helped with my support, my back, as well as, you know, when you're waddling, you don't have to hold your stomach because it's like heavy in front this kind of just helped support it made it easier and more comfortable um, but surprisingly I did continue to use this after post birth as well um, I did do a birth video not a birth video you did not want to see that but I did go through um, you know my labor story so I'll leave a link of that down below I'm not sure whether I explained um, what had happened but just to break down I had a cesarean um, which wasn't too bad but it was painful in certain I felt like by keeping pressure on it it helped a lot with the pain which was why this which was how this came in so with the scar being under your gut well 
normally on the gut but because I have a bigger it's kind of like hanging under it I felt like this was just giving extra pressure and support that it was um wasn't as painful and it wasn't as flabby if that makes sense like just kind of helped with the whole healing process so I found this really helpful um if you have had a cesarean well obviously like you know if this is the first time if you're a first time parent then you probably won't go through but basically you know when you get a cut for a cesarean um, it just takes a while six weeks or so to heal usually my hospital gave me like this little I think like spandex thing, like like a material to kind of use just to hold everything in and I also use like a maternity bat pad just while the, the scar was kind of just healing but I also felt like I wanted that extra support so I used this on top for a few weeks I think six to eight weeks I use this as well just to give that extra support plus when you have a newborn kid trying to get around and like you know focus on her it just made it a lot more easier on my body having one of these next favorite is a maternity pra don't worry I'm not gonna show you mine but I will leave a picture here of the one similar to what I use so I just bought mine from Target like I wasn't really you know I didn't really want to invest in spending a lot on maternity stuff with I don't know how long I'm going to use it um, I like it because these bras had like a inbuilt um, cup as well which I, I think some of them I actually removed but you can remove you can have it in so your boobs you know you're already feeling a bit weird with your boobs post what's the word like postnatal is that word or like after you've had your kids um but i just felt like i didn't want anything with wire in it i wanted something comfortable so definitely maternity me bras and plus you know they're just easy to whip your boob out if you're breastfeeding or pumping as well and they're just super comfy so i really liked um those ones especially the target ones i found were just more comfortable um that being said also breast um breast pads as well these are the reusable ones that i just wash i purchased these off i think ebay again um try to keep things pretty affordable um but the amount of times you leak is oh my god it is gross so i definitely relied on this especially the first well yeah within the first six months once my milk supply kind of dropped that i wasn't leaking it wasn't too bad um but these are definitely a lifesaver and i've never had a like a wet patch moment if you know what I mean so definitely been my favorite and my last me favorite are snacks specifically muesli bars so my go-to was the uncle toby strawberry yogurt muesli bars and also these are like a later edition i found from aldi um which are like these chewy ones which come in a pack with three flavors these you know sometimes like the first six months like i vaguely remember now to be honest like it went so fast in like such a blur but i remember the times where i would just forget to eat or if you're out and about and you just want some picking up snack um these were my go-to i i think like i forgot i forget to eat and i ate like maybe once a day or so but these i will try and fit in between or if you're in the car going to appointments um for me because she was in hospital for three and a half weeks um and because i went home first it was more the you know when i went to the hospital every day i'll just snack on these in the car um and also like you know how they've got like lactation like Bit boob cookies and um, most of them have oats in it which i thought having oats will also help with milk supply but now i actually think it's the brew yeast that makes a difference but you know what it's a thought that counts so i did munch on these and they do keep you full as well okay so next i'm going to categorize into sleep i don't know why i'm doing this but okay so the first one is a porter cup um, obviously I'm going to put it up here so I'm going to put a picture of here of the one we got which is the Joy I can't remember I think there's actually two different kinds but this is the one we got um, but basically I live in a double story house and I didn't want to I guess have a strict routine with her when it comes to sleeping that you must put her in bed otherwise I was worried she was going to get used to it and she wouldn't you know fall asleep or nap anywhere I'm um, just out of convenience as well so we bought that um this porter cot because it was 50% off when Toys R Us were closing down but it worked out fine because we had it um downstairs and because that's where we normally spend most of the day um it was convenient because we were able to use it as a change table and storage when she was still a baby and we just had her sleeping in the pram like napping in the pram during the day but as she got bigger we we're able to have a napping in there as well um and that way you know she can sleep in her bed um during the night but she's also comfortable and being able to sleep 
downstairs in another environment as well so i really like that it means that i don't have to you know keep going up and down putting it to bed and she fits in the porta cup because she grew out the um the pram stroller as well so that came in handy it also came in handy with storage downstairs i just kept everything like her nappies and stuff in there as well um just so it's all in one space another very helpful favorite was a bassinet um, just one to put into our room. So I originally wasn't planning on getting one. I was just going to use the porter cot in our room rather than moving the cot in there. But my girlfriend let me borrow hers and it was a lifesaver. So the one that she had was the bed nest, which I'll leave a picture here. And it was so handy because we could put it as an extension on our bed as well which came in handy because the first couple of nights actually the first couple of weeks she was home she because i've never roomed with her in hospital i didn't know what to expect so the first couple of nights home we were like oh my god this little like baby makes so much noise and i found it the first couple of weeks i was literally like holding my fist to her face with the dummy because she kept spinning out and crying just to kind of push her back in but it was just so good having that and I was kind of worried you know having her in our bed whether we'll roll over and squish her so just having her own bed as well like her own little section next to ours just came in handy and also because she was born in September by the end of the year, December, January, February, um, in Australia, that is our summer, it gets ridiculously hot. I was able to also take that bassinet and we could sleep with her outside, just pull out the mattress under the aircon and just have her there as well. So it came in handy a lot. So I'm really grateful that um, my friend let me borrow it because it was a lifesaver. So us, the first couple of weeks were definitely um, very challenging with all the different noises and stuff. Um, I was never really a music person I mean I like having music in the background but I never really paid attention to the lyrics and stuff and I've always said my favorite genre of music was silence like, I don't really appreciate it but I do have a Spotify account which I didn't actually use as much until having her I not so much white noise um, I didn't really like the white noise and I don't think she did either but me having to shh, shh, shh her all the time just got really repetitive and tiring so Lucky Spotify came in and had those, so there's a whole lot of different um, like lullabies and stuff you can have on Spotify. It just helped a lot, so I'm really, yeah, really relied on Spotify a lot, especially at night. Just have that going, just so I don't have to keep doing it myself, and I can have a little bit of a snooze. Okay, so I guess this is an essential for babies, but that is the muslin wrap. Uh, muslin wraps are, you know, they've been around for years and years and years, and like you know. It, it's kind of intimidating at first trying to figure out how to fold it correctly but you know what after a few goes you're like you'll nail it um, but the reason why I am adding it into the favorite is because muslin sizes come in different what muslin wraps come in different sizes um i actually got a lot of muslin wraps because i thought you know babies you know the more the merrier but there is actually a limit i find that you know you've reached like you don't need a lot because most times you're going to be washing it but if you overbuy it's just excess and then you know you don't even use it um but i did get a lot of muslin wraps and i didn't realize till after that size does matter um so we got a lot of like 100 centimeter by 100 centimeter ones which were great but she grew out of really fast so i really really like the 120 centimeter i think that's the largest one you can get size so it's more the sizing that is my favorite this one is by um, I think Aiden and Anise or something. I'll leave it, I don't know whether I'm saying it right, but this is just really easy, really breathable and really soft. So I just found that having that extra length just made it more easy to wrap. Um, also as they grow, you don't have to overbuy it. And then, you know, once, you know, they're old enough that you don't need to wrap it, they make a really good light blanket you can put over the trolley, like the pram, um, on the canopy, if, you know, just give them a little bit of quiet time or just as a little blanket to have around as well. Um, I think there is, like I said, I have quite a lot for some reason. I don't think I need, like, 
I think at one time I ever used was maybe three or four. Um, I wouldn't probably get more than that. But yeah, so I do recommend, if anything, if you do get a muslin wrap, it's up for a larger one, like a 120 centimeter. So when creating my essential list, I also heard a lot about humidifiers um, causing a lot of mold. So that kind of freaked me out that I decided to opt for a purifier instead of for a room. So I just brought a little purifier. However, during summer when we were sleeping under the aircon, she started getting really congested and sniffling nose. So I did end up using a humidifier. Um, the humidifier was something that I had before I had her. And this is one that I got from like Wish or AliExpress. It was like 20 something bucks but i like it because it's aesthetically like pleasing to look at as well and it also glows light as well but yeah so this one actually came in really helpful because when it comes to newborns i realized that there's not much if they get sick there is not much you can really do like you shouldn't really just feed them panadol or anything like that or give them antibiotics um Breast milk is probably the natural and best, if anything. But a lot of times, you know, I've, I guess it's something that's been ingrained by my maternal health nurse is what the, you know, you have to make sure you control the humidity and stuff in the room. If it gets a little bit too dry, the nose gets a little bit stuffy and dry as well, um, which is why I thought, you know what, I'll get that. And because under the air can't, it made it extra dry, I also put it a little bit of eucalyptus drop in it as well because I find it easier to breathe with eucalyptus. I thought, you know, she will too. It actually did help a lot. So now I actually do have the humidifier in the room. Um, I do, you can also have the window open a little a bit just to have a little bit of airflow so it doesn't create mold but i'm also cautious that i'll clean it out and just make sure you know it's all prepped and stuff before i start up again um, but yeah humidifiers are really cool just to kind of help them breathe easier at night that being said a grow egg is also very handy um i guess like a lot of products i noticed like my um monitor baby monitor also has like the temperature on it but i found this really handy as well um it glows up different colors depending on the room temperature and that way you kind of know you know whether it's too hot for her or whether you know you need to rug up more clothes more layers on there as well but this is a i guess you know you don't really need one there's different kind of ways you can like check the temperature of a room but this one's just easy because it glows different color and it can also work as a night light as well um, but this I found really helpful and the last sleeping product is a sleeping bag so again muslin rolls uh, muslin cloths were because she was in hospital for so long that we just got used to wrapping her um, which came in handy but then eventually she started breaking out of it um, so then these came in handy these are the born to dream ones I end up getting a bigger size because again like I'm weary about how much I'm paying and trying to get the most out of it um, so I got this one in um, I think this is a one tog yeah, this is a one tog, so the togs are different, I guess, thickness of it, depending on the weather, if you want more thicker for cooler um, weather or not. But these are good for newborns as well, because they have little, like, arm pockets that, you know, it's, like, keeps them trapped, that they're not scared and they can sleep easily. But these are the 50-50 ones, where because she started to suck her thumb as a soothing to go to sleep, I was able to undo it and have her hand, one hand out, so she can suck her thumb, you know, to put herself back to sleep. But these came in handy, probably up until she was six months as well because she wasn't kind of like moving around however if your child is starting to roll then I probably wouldn't suggest this but if you are clumsy or you know your uncle to do the muslin wrap these are also really handy and really good investment as well now the next category is feed and before I continue there is one tip that I strongly recommend advice out of everything and that is do not buy everything straight away yes have your list have everything prepared but do not buy them straight away because once you have a baby, there are times where you're going to be up all night because you can't sleep because the baby's crying. But you also find that, that you can't really sleep at all. And you're going to be doing a whole lot of online shopping. And plus, when baby comes out, you know, you think, oh, yeah, I've got the best of the best, like, you know, thing for her. But they may not like it. Um, and then you'll find yourself buying other products, which actually, if you bought the cheaper one... <laughs> works out a lot better um but that is just my biggest tip is don't just buy everything that you need i bought stuff like feeding stuff that she may not need till she started solid and stuff but yeah those stuff don't you know don't even i wouldn't recommend doing that so anyway that being said moving along so when it comes to feeding i didn't know exactly before she came along what will happen like i just thought you know you just breastfeed your baby if you can't just put them on formula i was more worried that i didn't really 
I wouldn't get enough breast milk to supply for her. Um, but then when she came along, she struggled with the whole drinking thing um, from a bottle on the breast. So I was, we were in hospital for a long time. And every time we were in hospital, you know, I don't know if it's just me, but, you know, if they're offering you free stuff, girl, you take it. And I took so many of them that I actually felt more comfortable. So I did have a complete set of the Advent bottles, um, which was slightly wider um, to hold. And they're really nice. And like it's just everything was complete. And I thought, you know, it's a known brand. Babies will love it. But because she was in hospital for so long, they had their own kind of bottle system, which I ended up taking a whole lot home because they only use it once anyway. Um, but they are the Seepal bottles. Um, these are the ones that they use in hospital. So every time I would go in, they're like, you know, have some free bottles. I'm like, okay. I took a whole lot. I'll leave a picture here if I can find the picture of all the bottles that I took. Like, I don't think, it wasn't stealing. Like, they were offering it. So I took them home. Um, but, like, these actually came in handy because, you know, newborns don't drink a lot. This is up to 150 mils. And this is perfect. It's small enough. And it's just really easy to hold. So we actually still use these now. Um, you're meant to throw them out after every use at the hospital but these are really good quality plastic even the you know the birthing class the nurse there was like you know what you can reuse it a couple of times and we still use these ones as well they also had these in the hospital these are the medella pump bottles um which i came in handy but these are slightly thinner in plastic so what i normally do is i store milk here put in the freezer and then i give use these on a daily basis and we have a shitload to go through so but these I thought were perfect as well. And the teats that they gave, um, I liked it because just are smaller to use. And she liked it. The teat also makes a big difference. So this is what I say by don't just buy off the list because your baby may not like it. We did, once she started going to 200, we did try to switch to the Advent one. But she didn't like the teat because it was slightly softer. So I went back to old school. And this is another tip as well. If you are, I find it as well, I I didn't realize till after that you sign up to a whole lot of forums and stuff on Facebook and like, you know, all the mums group. And I realized that a lot of babies may not latch onto a specific teat, a bottle teat. Um, and if you are kind of going through teats, then instead of starting from the most expensive, start off with the cheapest bottle. Because sometimes the cheapest bottle is the best bottle. This one, for example, this came in a set of three for like six bucks. And we switched to these teats because... I bought this in case the volume went up, but she still drinks about 150. So I actually use these teats on those. Um, but yeah, it was only six, like two, equivalent to two bucks each. So I didn't have to invest and spend like shitloads on bottles. Um, where this two dollar one, she loves using. So that is one tip I have. Another tip as well is if you are trialing out bottles, actually, you know what they should have. They should have a beginner hampers with like a whole lot of different branding so you can test it out with your child to see what they like. Um, but yeah, so start off with a cheapest bottle and work your way up to see whether they like it. Because sometimes, you know, some babies don't latch on properly. Some of them don't like drool a lot or they just don't like it or they're like, you know, too hard or whatnot. So start off with the lowest, like the cheapest one and work your way up. Now, with her being in hospital trying to go on the boob, I decided to... Um, express more than putting on the breast. I do breastfeed her um, once a day, but the other times I, you know, didn't see the point of teaching her how to use a bottle, then put her on the breast and then putting her back on the bottle. And plus exclusively breastfeeding for me just didn't work out, um, especially on demand. Like, I don't know. I personally lack routine and it actually worked a lot better with us having a routine. So that's the way we stuck it. So when it comes to breasts, like expressing, the hospital um, used the Medela Sympathy, Symp Sympathy, Symphony. Well, I'll leave it whatever it's called down there. But basically, that was awesome. I, you know, I was able to hire as well. You can hire. You don't have to purchase breast pumps. Um, you can hire them, which is good, and they're quite affordable as well. But if you are exclusively pumping, um, you may want to think about purchasing it. So I've got two breast pumps that I used, and I guess this is my favorite because it worked. So the first one is this Medela one. This is the Medela Swing, the single one. This is good because one, it's small, it's compact, um, which is good for like on the go and just to light use it as well. Um, if you're not exclusively pumping, if you're only doing it like once or twice a day or just, you know, to pump the excess, then this comes in handy a lot. Um, the only thing is like compared to the hospital grade ones, it's not as 
strong um but it does work a good deal so i do use this and i did like you know if i'm going out and about because it comes in bad you can use batteries this comes in handy for that as well um, and it also fits perfectly because, you know, the hospital user, I was able to use all their bottles and stuff, just came in really handy. However, because I was somewhat exclusively pumping, um, I also wanted something that was stronger because I was spending hours, like maybe an hour pumping every session, which is fine because I was on my phone anyway, but it does take up a lot of time. So I then invested in a Spectra. So this is the one I use, the Spectra 1, I believe. Um, but this is like a hospital grade one. It's a little bit more, exp obviously more expensive, but I do strongly recommend it. Um, I think it is great and it works so well and it's so much stronger as well. Another reason why I purchased the Spectra one as well was because the Medalla was all great and all. However, if I wasn't paying attention, sometimes the breast milk will kind of get stuck in the valve and it just kind of keep going back up the tube, um, which wasn't really so great. But because I was kind of exclusively pumping, I thought I would invest in a um, like a hospital grade pump. And this one was good because this one comes with this extra um, suction thing here that kind of catches it so it doesn't go back up the tube. So when you pump, it kind of like, it sucks this in and out. So if you do have any excess milk, it will kind of go and get stuck there so it won't get stuck in the tube. And plus, this is a lot stronger as well. You can also put two breast pumps in and pump two at the same time. I like to keep it in this basket so, you know, when I'm out, like in the house, upstairs, downstairs, I can just take the whole thing. Everything I need is in this basket. Um, so that comes in handy. And also all these products... Another tip I also want to mention is that baby pro like baby products are super expensive and a lot of times you may not even use it for that long as well. So what I recommend is look up on the marketplace on Facebook because you'd be surprised at how much stuff is on sale in the marketplace and all in still good conditions as well. So the next feeding favorite is this thermal mask. So I actually had this on my registry as, you know, when she's older and she's eating food to have her food warm in here. But I've actually been using it to heat up her bottles. So yes, you can have like a thermal bottle to store hot water if you are giving your child um, formula, for example. You can have hot water anywhere. But I find that most places, or when it comes to feeding, I'm at like usually... There's a cafe or somewhere nearby and they usually, you know, if you ask them for hot boiling water, they, I've never really had any problems. But the reason why I like this was because I don't, like, I give her breast milk, so I'll have breast milk in my bag, in the little cooler bag. And these bottles, why I like these ones and the um, Advent ones is because they're thinner and smaller, they fit perfectly in this flask. So what I generally ask for is just some boiling water. If I was going to feed her within an hour, then I'll carry my own boiling water, have it half filled, and just, you know, when it's time to feed, pop the bottle in, maybe cover it with like a... Um, like a face towel, a bib cloth or something like that. And just, it takes like no time to heat up. It actually takes less time to heat up than in the Advent bottle warmer. I don't know why, but this is perfect. And you know what? When you're done, it just packs up easy. And then as they get older, you can also use it as a feeding. So I really relied on this a lot and it came in handy all the time. Now, the next two items aren't exactly feeding products, but I want to put it into the same category because they were very helpful for us. The first one is masking tape. Why do I have masking tape, you ask? Well, because when we, when she was in hospital and I was at home, there was time where I have to, like, you know, pump at home, pump wherever, and then bring it in and put it into the fridge in the nursery. And then they'll give little, um, I guess, little stickers to mark that it's her milk and not the other baby's. Sometimes if there's too much, they'll put it in the freezer. So I used to use those stickers to label and mark the time that I would um, pump but when that ran out I thought I would use masking tape instead it just works a lot better you know you don't have to buy labels you don't have to like write on them and I can reuse this like maybe three or four times um, so I would express pump into this label it using masking tape as a sticker and pop it in the freezer so I know you know the day and the time that I pump so this actually helped a lot just you know it's just a cheap way of buying stickers pretty much as labelers um, but yes that's been a really good one and another one is a notebook and we have a notebook to record all her um, feeding and I guess her pooping and peeing times as well so in hospital because they were recording 
every day you know the time they fed her and stuff we kind of just kept on doing that and if you are going to try a routine this also comes in handy because you can go back through and see what you know whether there's a significant um routine that she naturally or he naturally does so oh my god i this is this is like the first we literally just stopped writing in this but the first like maybe nine like eight months of her life we wrote down everything um, so what I've done is I've broken down into time, whether I've given her, you know, how long on the breast, how much bottle, how much she's drunk, whether she's peed or poo, and just notes, you know, if we've given her any medication, any colic, um, syrup or anything, whether we've bathed her, given her her vitamin D, you know, whether she's done any explosions and stuff. So what we did, it was record it all down. And that way, because, you know, if my parents were looking after her, if I was going out, ducking out to the shops or, you know, if... I wasn't home, Cam wasn't home. We have a track so we can keep an eye on what's going on. And then eventually we realize, you know, how much she was drinking, whether she's made any significant changes. And then we were able to change our routines after that. So this is just something, I mean, you can easily, you know, maybe print out like some schedules and stuff, but we just found that that this was just easier to record. And also, you know, this is going into her little um, keepsake luggage as well because, yeah, this is the first, like, months of her life like what she ate and stuff so the last category is miscellaneous favorites things that i found really helpful the first one is a bathing seat um, bath seat so this looks overly used and dirty but this has helped us a lot so before um she was born i just thought i would use a laundry sink it was perfect the perfect layout but my mum and aunties had a go at me because they're like you know you watch a dog in there there's so much chemicals no so i'm like okay so we ended up buying a baby bath for her and my dad built like a stand to put over the bathtub so we don't have to like you know crash down and like hurt our backs or anything um but it was as she got bigger it was kind of difficult supporting her and washing her so we thought we'll actually invest in a baby seat like a bath seat um there are obviously better like more expensive brands but we just got this ten dollar fifteen dollar one i think from uh, kmart because what i realized is that like i said a lot of baby products is you know a lot of times you don't need you won't use it a lot and i've seen a lot like the angel care one which is really nice but i've seen a lot of them go back on, up on sale on facebook market because you know they're 40 bucks and like a lot of them sell it for 20 bucks so these ones are something that you know i don't have to think about reselling i can just you know it wasn't that expensive i can check it out and it does its job at the end of the day it does its job this is perfect because it's low enough that i don't have to fill the bath tub up with a lot of water she sits comfortably in it we're all happy and it just works so my i guess it's like my tip is like don't just go for the expensive better looking one because a lot of times they may not use it as much and you know the cheaper practical one is will also work um quite well as well so the next product is a baby bouncer i'm not going to show you the one i have because it's downstairs but this is a picture of the one i have that i've been using the baby beyond one um it was actually um bar i actually borrowed it from my girlfriend so she let me borrow it again i didn't initially i wasn't going to get one i ended up getting like a, a rocking like a little rocker one from my baby registry um however because my girlfriend gave it to me for to borrow my mom suggested to switch it over because it was summer it was hot and this was slightly more breathable and she actually really liked it um especially when she got old enough that she was able to kind of rock herself in it it came in really handy and also for me why i liked it because it helped a lot when it came to feeding so i don't know if i said this previously Obviously, but me feeding her we will just sweat it out in summer i'll get hot it's uncomfortable so i will just put her in the lower setting um so it's slightly reclined and she's comfortable and i'll just sit next to her and feed her the bottle and we're both you know happy and comfortable and it just worked out really well so when it comes to going out one of my favorites is this baby carrier this is the ergo baby mesh 360 the omni 360 so I didn't buy lucky I didn't buy this before I had her I waited till after because it is quite expensive for a baby carrier I'm um, obviously you can get different brands but the one I was looking for was the ergo baby or the baby beyond um, but because the good thing with Isabel is she's quite she's so plastic like anyone can hold her she'll be so chilled and I don't generally like we try not to hold her as much so she's not as clingy um, but there was a time where she just started crying if you didn't 
hold her and it was, sometimes it's just hard holding her while you're doing something so I thought okay I'll invest in the baby carrier so it was between the Ergo Baby and the Baby Beyond but I just felt the Baby Beyond was a little bit more fidgety so I preferred the Ergo Baby it also has a little back support as well that I really liked um, but yeah so the good thing is like it just worked out well on the days we want to go out but we don't want to bring the big ass pram um, just something that's easy to carry her we can carry her literally 360 so facing us or facing away um, she was comfortable in it we were comfortable and we had both hands free so really like that one so when it came to feeding this was definitely a lifesaver this is the stalker trip trap chair so my girl my cousin actually gave me donated me her daughters because they were done with it and honestly it was a lifesaver um, it was just convenient because it came in a newborn set as well as a baby set and she can grow into it until she's like eight or until she's old enough for an adult chair um, but I won't go into it further because I did do a review so I'll leave a link down below but definitely definitely recommend it so like I said before when it comes to babies they get sniffly colds all the time and there's nothing much you can really do but to try and get those suckers out um, so the my favorite is this fess little noses set um, this has just been really good to help kind of help her breathe a little bit soften up the boogers up her nose um, and also this little device as well which was kind of intimidating at first but after a while you kind of just get used to it so I do think that this helps a lot especially this I did get like a cheaper one in like a little um, like a beauty set for her so the quality of this does make a big difference you can get one of those like sucky ones which I'm still a bit like whoa, whoa to like try but this is good enough as well my tip though is that if you're gonna use this is that when you put it in the nose you kind of have to face it towards the side of the nose just to give it an extra suction um, but it seems to be it's pretty good like, I've gotten some really good boogers out of this so I do strongly recommend definitely for all babies to have some sort of like nasal device because they do get quite stuffy all the time even if you don't get anything out just to spray it to have them easier to breathe is also really good as well so when you're out and about a good nappy bag makes a big difference and the nappy bag i got was this one from aliexpress i think i did do a what's in my nappy bag video so i'll leave a link of that below down as well but this has been really handy for the first couple of months because babies don't really need a lot of things like you know their milk maybe some diapers but everything else is more for emergencies um so this had a lot of pockets a lot of great spaces to store emergency stuff um but now that she is nine months i don't have to bring a lot more plus because i've got a new pram for her um with downsized but the first six months this has came in come in handy also because it's a backpack it's really comfortable to wear as well and it's quite modern not so baby looking bag um, which just makes it nicer to carry and wear so when it comes to going out and about my favorite pram accessory is the cup holder you don't know how important it is to have a cup holder not just to hold the drinks but just like you know to put your phone or something just quickly while you're you know getting everything out of the car it just makes a big difference every time i go out and i forget the cup holder i literally have to go back to the car to get it because it just comes in handy a lot of times you just hold my bubble cup but you know what it makes a big deal um if you are you know looking for a pram don't go tight and you know not get the cup holder trust me you will need it you I mean you don't have to get the specific brand you can get like a little bags to hang on to it and that being said also hooks um, I'll leave a picture of these hooks these come in handy as well so I purchased these just to hang to be able to hang the nappy bag off the um, the pram handle because I used the bugaboo chameleon the first generation because it was also given to me by my cousin but it is so hard using the basket underneath like nothing really fits in there so I found that these cheap hooks um, which are from Kmart but you can also get from eBay for like five to seven dollars come in handy because you can just hang like shopping bags or their bag um, nappy bag at the back of it and just makes it easier to um, travel and the last favorite is a good floor mat you know I know when when you've got a child that is so little and tiny you know you feel like it's so precious you just don't want to put them on the floor you want to make sure there's a lot of cushiony so definitely invest in a good floor mat the one I used was just like a Kmart one I don't have it here because at my mum's house she's kind of grown out of it um, but yeah just something that's really nice and cushiony for them because what I noticed is that you know after having the kid you tend to go out a lot or go to 
like you know mother's group and stuff where you know if you need to put your baby on the floor it's nice to have something really cushiony it's something that's compact that you can go out and like just take it with you have it in the car something that can just feel more comfortable putting them on um, but yeah that is definitely something that I always made sure that I carried with me or have in the boot if we were going out as well so that was my list of favorites this may also be a very long video but not as long as if I posted up a complete list so again I will put a link down below to the blog post where I broke down pretty much everything my knowledge of a essential list but I hope you found this video helpful um, if you did please give me a thumbs up and also if you want any more baby recommendations and advice let me know um, but yeah thanks for watching see ya